how to set up an automated email sequence with ConvertKit. This is one of the most powerful features of ConvertKit. It can help you build trust with your audience by sending value-packed emails over time, and it's a phenomenal tool to sell on autopilot. You can learn more about that at the very end of this video. The first step of email automation is writing the sequence of the emails that you're gonna send out over time. You can write them within ConvertKit while you're building the sequence, or you can write them in something like a Google Doc or a favorite organizational tool, Notion. If you do it this way, it's a little easier to edit and share the drafts with a colleague or anyone else that you want to read the emails before sending them out. I mean in Notion or a Google Doc versus within ConvertKit, but either way can work. Now we want to create a sequence and add the series of emails to that sequence. To do that, click on send at the top of your screen and then click on sequences. If you currently don't have a ConvertKit account, you can sign up with our affiliate link down below in the description. Normally, I would say check out their free forever plan. It's great. But if you want to send out multiple automated emails over time, like we're going to do in today's tutorial, you're going to need to sign up for a free trial of their creator or creator pro plan. We are just using the normal creator plan. So to start out, no need to try out the more expensive pro plan. Unfortunately, this feature of automated sequences isn't available with their free plan. This is basically true for almost any email marketing software. Once you're on this page, click on new sequence, give the sequence a name so you can find it later and so you can connect it to the automation that we'll be creating in just a minute. Choose when you want to send this email. For example, when someone signs up on one of our ConvertKit landing pages, we could deliver the first automated email from within the landing page, get them to confirm their email, and then that could kick off a sequence later on. Once they open the email, it could say something like, thanks for signing up, confirm your email by clicking the button below and start watching the training. Once they click on the confirmation button, then they'll be taken to a web page with the training. And right here, you can change when the email is sent. It could be immediately or hours or days later. In this case, we probably don't want to send the next email as part of this sequence immediately. Probably want to send it at least a few hours or days later. The next thing we want to do is add the subject line for the first email. Then we're going to write the text for the email. You could copy and paste it from your Word document. You can add things like the subscriber's first name, add images, add links. A pro tip here, you can add tags to a subscriber when they take a specific action by clicking on a link in your email. So what you could do here is we have a question such as what are you focused on to grow your business this year? Is it YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or a podcast? So you would have different tags added depending on which one of those links they clicked on. So for example, if they click on podcast, they'd be taken to a page that talks about podcasts. And then either we'd send them a different sequence because they're interested in podcasting or for future emails, we may send something about podcasting. Only people who signed up for a lead magnet about podcasting podcasting or clicked on something within one of our emails saying they were interested in the topic. If you're okay with this first email, make sure you publish it. Then you can add a second email right here. Choose how much time you want to pass between the first email and the second email. Write the subject line for email two, the text for email two, and then publish email two. Then let's add a third email and follow the exact same step. So how long after the previous email, the subject, the email copy, and publish it. Once you're done adding all the content that goes within the email sequence, it's time to set up what's actually gonna kick off the sequence. To do that, click on automate and then click on visual automations. Here you're going to click on plus new automation in the top right hand corner. They have a few templates here. You can see if any of them could work for what you're trying to send out, but I'm just going to click on empty automation. Give your automation a name. Once you start to have lots of them, you want to be able to remember which is which. Here's where you're going to tell ConvertKit what should start this automation. The most common thing we end up choosing here is when someone signs up on a landing page or form or when a tag is added. Instead of choosing when someone signs up on a form, usually we set it so a tag is added when someone signs up on a form or landing page. And then for these automated sequences, we end up having a tag kick off the automation. Then hit the plus button down below. You're going to see there's three different options. So you have event, action, and condition. Event and condition are a bit more complicated. We're going to stick with the basics for this video. Click on action, then click on sequence, select the sequence we just created, and we're good to go. Now we just need to turn on the automation. That's the basics of an automated email sequence with ConvertKit. Now an amazing way to deliver a special offer to your audience you can sell on autopilot. This involves using ConvertKit along with another tool called Deadline Funnel. What you can do here is give someone a special offer that expires a couple of days after they receive it. The offer will adjust for each subscriber depending on when their sequence started. You can set up a sequence of emails to tell a subscriber about the offer and let them know when it expires by using ConvertKit with Deadline Funnel. 
They will receive emails in a sequence and the page they visit will have a timer that says how much time they have until the offer expires. They get an extra bonus or special pricing by making a purchase within that period. Once the offer expires, the price goes back up to normal and Deadline Funnel will stop showing the offer page to that particular subscriber and show them just the normal sales page for that product or service. It's a bit complicated to walk you through in this video. You can test out Deadline Funnel with the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about how Deadline Funnel works, check out the video up above. If you want to learn how to build landing pages to grow your email list, check out the video below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.